Imagine if you go a week without losing at anything. Cool. Imagine if you were to go a year without losing. Awesome. Well, how about a career? No way. With the help of photographer Tom Stasiak, we go to Incarnate Word Academy for the story. Yeah, let's get three in a row. It's almost a peaceful scene. All right, one. A father and a daughter alone in a gym. And it's happened hundreds of times. They're not saying much, there we go. and they don't have to. They are where they want to be. The daughter, Kaylin Janes, wants to get better and better. The father, Ron, Rebound. will do anything to help. Like that. I'd always wake him up 5 a.m., say, Dad, come on, drive me to the gym. And I still, even though I can drive my own car now, I still wake him up to come rebound me. The time I got to spend with my daughter, being able to teach her what hard work is about and, and the repercussions that she's got to experience from the hard work with all the wins. You said it, all the wins. Kaylin Janes has never, ever lost a game at Incarnate Word Academy. 114-0. Never happened before. Her name is on three different state titles. And did you hear that right? 114 and 0. It is nuts if you really, if you think about it. Yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. Um, you know, but but let's talk in in a couple weeks. <laughs> I always say you learn more from a loss than you ever do from a win. But uh, so I don't know how much they've learned over here. You know, because <laughs> they haven't experienced much losing. Ready, go. Dan Rolfus won't allow it. And in Kalen Janes. He has a terrific three-point shooter who's helped shape the culture. First, it started with Kalen, you know, getting shots up in here, and then you'll see a couple other kids in here shooting. So not only did she make herself better, she made other players better by her work ethic. And what about one-on-one -on -one games between Dad, who was a star fullback at Mizzou, who played in the NFL, and Kalen? Who wins? Me. <laughs> Hmm. She's headed to Northern Iowa, and oh. she carries a 4.2 GPA, and I told her that's exactly what Tom Stasiak and I did. <laughs> well, we combined ours to get the 4.2. Well, so she's amazing. if the culture is getting up at 5 a.m. to take those shots, that's quite a culture. She she's such it. an underachiever. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>